Heavens no! you for hours. Ah, oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. I'm afraid I lack my father's common touch. So could you just pretend that I know how to motivate you? What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. That's what we'll do. Right. Nobody's having nightmares over that. <laughs> well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um... Wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? Esther wonders what life's like outside the tube. Of course, he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody.
happened to you, Prudence? I did take them. No, no, leave me alone. I took my joy. I took my joy. No, no, leave me alone. No. We seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. I having trouble catching your breath. Is your mouth often dry? Do you have spots of color? Other symptoms you might have are red or purple spots of your skin. on your legs. They look like this. There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Come on. Really smack it. You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. You smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time! Of those bastards chased me. There were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. really did run off. 
glad she ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. I'll need some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. What happened to him? Or rather, who? going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I... I promise. But... but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. to go to just yet. The bridge. I've got to get to the bridge. In the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? Well, I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. I am coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? 
No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back from me. I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd can store most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. They look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. I'll find a cleverer way in. Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight in the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I could write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. We'll leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. Original. Danny Defoe! You, you've lost a bit of weight. To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line. Who gives a shit, Hastings? 
A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the least for one. That's cheery. Hey, some guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come with strong with that lead pipe. You've got to want to block that. Got a sink. Oh God, this on. Oh God. Sort of vent. Wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motelling dispenser. That I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill, I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd. Oh, oh, it's better this way.
not you, it's me. Sublimated dimotony, the fuel of the future. <laughs> well, I think that's everything I had when they jumped me. I should probably see if I can find that chap's medals. Oh, I'll have to steal his key card somehow. and go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. If I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes. Nothing personal. Stop 
was a... It's time! We're doing this to each other. to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Uh, hello? Anyone out there? Christ, all right. Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slamming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here, over here. Do you want to get thrashed? aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death, you better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy and it like flips a switch and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! I think my suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. Welcome to the bloody garden. I can't keep doing this. 